Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Rush XD here and welcome guys back to another plugin showcase. Where today's plugin showcase is on a plugin called Item Join. It's a really simple and overall high configurable plugin that you can use so when players join your server, they're going to join with a custom item that you can set through the config and only through the config really. And it's really simple. I'm going to go for you guys through each step and how every one of them works and each attribute or variable or within anything else. And yeah, this plugin is really simple. I do recommend you guys get it. And what you're gonna need is you can add additional plugins, but I'm not gonna go through that one because it's not necessary for this video. And yeah, what you wanna do is you wanna get the plugin, drop it in your plugins folder, and then you wanna restart your server and end it. We're not gonna be messing in, in game. There's not many in game commands, so we're mainly gonna mess on the config. So as soon as you're there, what you wanna do is you wanna go into your plugins folder. In your plugins folder, you wanna go into item join. Uh, here we have the config of course i'm using notepad plus plus if you guys want to use it of course i recommend it because it's the best to use so what you have here is language if you have a different language file like so for the moment i have only english so i'm only going to keep it in english but of course if you have a different one you can change it and check for updates you can keep that true or false depending if you want to stay on the latest version or you're just good with the one you have right now you also have vault so these are dependents so if you have these plugins of course enable them because it's going to help a lot like place order api you can add different variables uh multiverse core for different worlds and then you have within others now this is really cool so do get it because it is helpful a lot so if you have any of these that said from true or well, said from false to true but since I don't have any other than vault but really we're not gonna be messing with that I'm just gonna keep them all at false for the moment here you have the you have first join don't mess with anything here it even tells you not to mess with it so you don't have to open it and then this is the language file of course if you want to alter anything just feel free because it's it's a bit so yeah after that one you also have the items now this is where everything gets fancy and yeah so here we have literally everything it's gonna start off this um, a lot of green text which is not necessary because I'm gonna go through each every state with you so what we're gonna do first version you want to keep this don't mess with it and we have global settings prevention prevention pickups you can keep so they can't pick up I want to keep that true uh, allow bypass this is really depending creative bypass this is depending on you guys and yeah so I'm gonna go for clear on join I want to keep that a true so the inventory is going to get cleared um clear on world change keep that true as well clear only item join on join i'm going to keep i'm just going to change every single one of these to true because why not it really depends on you so you go ahead and mess with what you want and see what suits you and allow op bypass it's really up to you it's really up to you of course op means just op player and then right here you have first join first join mode enabled true as well and then global items false or true that's really up to you delay two ticks i hope it is at least or two seconds and we have world so this is where you're going to add your world click by enter and then just click a dash and then put your world name so for mine it's going to be hub and then we also have now this is where the items come in we have a lot here i'm not even kidding and what i'm going to do for this i'm just going to completely delete everything so let's get started so first thing you want to do is put in your world name so for my case gonna be hub and in that colon click enter and then I'm gonna paste in what we already had so this right here is gonna be one single item of course I'm gonna alter everything and explain to you guys how it works right here you have ultra item this is just like it's just a config name you can change it alter it however you want to so for this I'm gonna put Ted and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change from a diamond sword to an iron sword why not knowing it's better if you keep everything on cap and then we have and it says name so this is the name it's gonna appear not the not this one here it's this is the name that's gonna appear when you hover over it so for this case I'm gonna put a yellow I hope this is there is color code so no to that it is great and I'm gonna put Ted's great sword there we go so this is that's the name that's gonna appear the value that's really depending on like if you use for example wool blocks which have different data values so for example, if you want like a cyan, you're gonna have to put this like, uh, for example, nine, that then you'll change your color. So since we don't have, well, since we're only using a iron sword, it has, it doesn't have any data value. So I'm gonna keep that at zero. And then I almost forgot slot here. I'm gonna change it to a four. That'll be put it directly in the middle. Um, it starts from zero. So we gotta remember that zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to eight. It doesn't start from one to nine. It starts zero to eight. So you guys gotta keep that in mind. And then right here we have lore. This is the lore that's gonna be there. I'm just gonna remove it completely because it's not necessary. And I'm gonna put my own. So for my lore, it's gonna take the following. Now to do that, you have to put is a colon. You have to put a dash and then a small colon. And then you wanna put your message. So for mine, it's gonna be use at your own risk. And I'm gonna close it down. And then I can add even another one. Make sure if you see this rad 
red dash it's mean because you didn't back up all the way you got to back up all the way or else it will not work properly and then you got to add a another colon i'm just going to close it in as well and i'm going to put your life might be on the line there we go it is kind of dark i feel that but it's just a test example so it is a sword that if you use it you might have a chance of dying and right here we have a few enchantments you can add so for example i'm just gonna remove them all i'm probably gonna skip the fire aspect sword and then i don't know add a add a, i don't know like a, a knockback eight or something and not really much i'm just gonna keep these two and you can add as many as you want but i don't know it's, this is for more an example and then here we have the commands now this is get fancy you can add the commands depending to be a message from the server the console itself or even a player so for the, for this one i'm going to do console and player only so i'm just going to remove this and i'm going to remove this completely i'm going to put player colon and then i'm going to add what the command is so i'm going to put for example kill and then i'm going to put my name because that way it's going to kill me when i'm in game so i'm going to put that and then i'm going to add the console as well i'm going to backspace all the way add a dash and two colon and i'm going to put console so that's really cool you can add different commands this specific to either if it's console or player or message or whatever and then i'm gonna put console say haha noob there we go that's what's gonna say first it's gonna kill me then the console is gonna completely wreck me and com annihilate my life meaning i don't have one but either way so this here command action you just want to keep this normally and then this is the command cost i'm gonna keep it at zero because i'm broke and we have command cooldown keep it at five i really don't doesn't matter so yeah we even have cooldown message it's gonna this is the message gonna appear when the cooldown and then these are item flags so you can add different types um depending on what you want so i'm gonna go for i'm gonna go for unbreakable hide attributes first join and self drops so i'm gonna add these two and these two so these are all my item flags and then here we have the permission node so this they have to need this permission node for it to work and i'm gonna put this one as its head there we go now here's an extra item i'm not gonna go full in detail this one it is a book so what it does it basically you can put a book in somebody's inventory and alter every single page right here so for this example item book and it's gonna be the id slot offer and and etc etc and it's gonna show and then what you want to do is add pages and add new page colon and then add your message this is gonna you have to do that for each single page i'm not gonna go full detail if you want to stop the video here and you can understand quite simple because it's mainly these this part right here that's important so you just got to keep them going and then just got to put your end book at the end and that is simple as that so i'm going to save this and i'm going to hop into the server and see if everything's working correctly all right we're in game and as you can see my hop bar right there we have the items that we created ted the great ted's great sword and it's well i don't really know about the book the book is just pre-made and what you see here is i added a symbol on the sword which was a coma i think and it wasn't added because the reason is you can't add them on the sword that would really mess the config so that was my mistake i'm just saying it now and then, but it has everything else as ted's great sword use at your own risk your item might be on the line or your life might be on the line to be honest and yeah so if i use this right now i'm gonna end up dying but i don't want to die so we're gonna go to the book because why not and we're gonna click the book and it's gonna have all the pages that was in the config and that's how it works it's really simple i don't have to go into this one so as you can see i'm trying to click q that one fell oh this one yeah see this one doesn't fall the other one did fall something we can do it's really cool is so slash item join get and then add the name of the item so for example it's gonna be book dash item so there we go i got the book back i can throw it away because i'm not gonna be reading much and now we're gonna use a sword which is all the hype here so if i click it that's right the sword always ends up killing me jeez i, I, I need help so that's working great i still get the sword even after death because that's the attributes i left for it and it works out great so there really isn't much other to show here everything's working perfectly as you can see i can't drop it i did remove the enchantments because i was having some issues because i kind of messed something up in the config and i just really wanted to show you guys this as fast as i can i would block right now but i'll end up killing myself as you can see and of course right there you can see diamond rush killed and then right there server haha <laughs> noob so as you can say the plugins working fine and yeah we really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to smack the like button down below if you guys wish to see another one make sure to do it via comments down below this one of course was commented on twitter and i'm doing it from there so shout out to twitter i guess i don't, I don't know is twitter near shout out what the heck is twitter but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed and i'm the rush xd and i'll see you guys next time cheers